Hello, friends of faith. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. Uh, today is Psalm 143, and it is the very first verse, uh, cry for God's mercy. It says, Lord, hear, hear my cry out for mercy in your, in your righteousness, in your faithfulness. Meet me in my place of distress. Um, and really the psalm goes on in this, this sense of lament and, and wanting God to, to meet him in a, in a place of trouble. Last night, we gathered with a few people that have been talking about, praying about, uh, interested in starting a Young Life Club at uh, Kennedy, right next door. Um, and we're not quite there yet, but maybe in the fall we, we will be. And um, several new people that hadn't heard uh, yet kind of what, what where God is moving in this. I expected maybe six or eight people, so we met in the fireside room thinking that would be a good space to meet. Um, 27 people showed up and crowded into the fireside room, and in the course of just sharing uh, uh, about how God has been a part of their lives, how they've connected with Young Life, there were there were tears, there were um, there was uh, uh, really moments of anguish where, where they realized that how God was met them in their own places of distress in their lives, um, but really there was a prayer for, um, uh, in a heart, I thought people just wanted to hear about young life, but people also wanted to express how how deeply God had, had moved on their heart to recognize that high school students are not just, they're not trouble, as we, as we often think of, think of high school students, they're not, um, they're not cause, makers of trouble, troublemakers. But they're in trouble. They they really experience the trouble of this world and and uh, carry so much of the weight of that on themselves. And uh, and so a lot of the prayer gathered around, wondering how God was going to use this this opportunity to gather so many people to uh, to bring this about. Um, so I've got my Young Life shirt on. Um, we are going to have an event on May twentieth at. Um, uh, Greenhaven Neighborhood Church right across the street and try to gather a few s- students just to play volleyball and cornhole and have some food, maybe meet meet some of these students. Um, on a- 18th, on that Saturday, there is an opportunity for a fundraiser to support uh, Young Life in this area. Um, and the, the trickle-down effect is that will support us, that will support us too. If you'd like to be a part of that event, uh, be a part of a table, host a table, I've put the, the link of where to go to, to do that in the description. I uh, hope you're able to, to be a part of that. Um, I've got a couple other things that day and graduation parties and so on, but I'm going to try to make, a, make it there for a part of that as well. Um, if you have any questions about that, find me. But um, it's, it's exciting already what God is, is doing and, and the way, the way uh, people's hearts have been moved to call out to God for, uh, for God to meet uh, meet kids in their distress and and for us to find ways to walk alongside them as our our neighbors next door. Hope you're having a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace be with you.